Have you heard somebody mentioning the word beam a few times but didn't really know what it is? Well, experts such as structural engineers or teachers often assume that everyone knows what a beam is as we're surrounded by beams every day. But it's a very technical term and beams have certain characteristics that only engineers are aware of. So now, what actually is a beam? The short answer? A horizontal element carrying floors and other loads such as people. Beams are material independent, so timber, concrete and steel are common materials of beams. But there's much more to it. Stick with us for the long answer and learn about the different types of beams that we use in structural engineering. So in this video, we're going to talk about what a beam is, how beams are supported and real world examples of beams. So let's get into it. Let's start with the question what a beam is. Beams are horizontal elements that carry loads mostly perpendicular to their axes to then distribute them to their supports. One characteristic of beams is that they act in bending, which occurs when loads act perpendicular to the element axis. In most cases, beams take up vertical loads, such as dead and live loads, of floors and buildings, and then they distribute them to columns or walls. Supports basically determine the type of beam. So now let's have a quick look at the different types of supports. The first type of support is a pin. Pins take up vertical and horizontal reaction forces. These reaction forces are then applied on the element supporting the beam. This could be a column or wall. Rollers only take up vertical reaction forces. The third type of support are fixed supports. These types of supports have three reaction for forces. Vertical and horizontal reaction forces and a bending moment. And the last support type is springs. Springs can be applied to a static system in multiple directions. On beams, however, a spring support mostly takes up vertical reaction forces. Now let's get into real world examples of beams. For example, timber roof rafters take up snow, wind, dead and live loads off the roof and then transfer them to the supports. And the second example of beams are concrete and steel beams in parking garages, which support the deck and then distribute their dead and live loads to columns. Timber purlins are support beams of rafters. So they basically take up all of the support forces of the rafters and then distribute them to columns or walls. Or the concrete deck of a suspension bridge takes up traffic, dead, wind and other loads and transfers them to the hangars and towers. And of course, there's a lot more examples, but I hope you got the concept. Now you got an introduction to the concepts of beams. To really understand beams better, you need to also learn about the different types of beams, such as simply supported or cantilever beams, but also the different types of loads applied to beams. We covered both topics in other videos and you can find the links in the video description below. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. You can also find other structural engineering guides on our homepage, structuralbasics.com. Until next time.